Coronado, it's Janine from the City Manager's Office. Coronado is the only California city to make Dr. Beach's 2017 list of the best beaches in America. The list is put together by coastal expert and Florida International University Professor Stephen P. Leatherman, also known as Dr. Beach. He uses many factors to make his decision, including beach width and condition, sand softness, water temperature, and number of sunny days. This is what Dr. Beach said about Coronado. With its lush subtropical vegetation, unique Mediterranean climate, and fine sparkling sand, beach goers flock to this beach for great ship watching and the summer's warm and mild surf. Have you checked out the city's newest art project? This is pure fun, and people want to live in communities that are fun and cool. And this is something for to attract the community, separate Coronado from the average run-of-the-mill community. Uh, and I hope that, uh, from what I've seen, my little research on it, the people will come by, they'll see it, they'll sit down, they'll play. And I kind of was making a somewhat of a joke that everybody has a song they can play, and even if that's the only song. Uh, they get a chance to play it, impress their friends, and, and then go on. And we'll just see how this evolves this summer. I think it's going to be well received. I'm really looking forward to it. It can be found at Coronado Rotary Park, and you can't miss it. The Sit a Spell and Play a Tune piano was unveiled last week with a concert by local residents. Since then, the piano has been played by virtuosos as well as beginners. The City of Coronado and the Cultural Arts Commission invite the public to enjoy either playing or listening. The public art project will remain up through December 2017. If you haven't tried taking a ride on the free summer shuttle program, which kicked off last weekend, you have to try it. Free shuttles run every 15 minutes and take passengers around the village area. The Kays has a new program called Kays Curbside Service. Kays residents can call Lowe's Resort and get picked up by a Lowe's courtesy golf cart and taken to the resort. From there, residents can get on the free Silver Strand shuttle to the Hotel Del Coronado. From there, they can hop on the free summer shuttle around the village. Both the free summer shuttle and Kay's curbside will run through Labor Day weekend. The police department held its most recent traffic enforcement, Saturation Patrol, on Tuesday, May 30th. It resulted in 76 traffic citations, six misdemeanor arrests, and two vehicle tows. The Spreckles Park restrooms were open for the first summer concert on Sunday, May 28th, and will be open for each concert going forward. However, the building is not complete and the restroom will remain closed during the week so the contractor can complete the remaining work. In the meantime, the portable restroom trailer adjacent to the restroom is open for use during daytime hours. The new Spreckles Park restroom mosaics by local artist Kirsten Green also were completed in time for the first concert. The mosaics with bold floral designs were inspired by the annual Coronado Flower Show. Green's first public art installation, Concert in the Park, from 2002, is adjacent to the new restroom building. Green restored the three large mosaic panels and they're installed above the trough sinks. They were restuccoed, cleaned, and will soon have new lighting. A dedication will be announced soon for the art. The contractor on the Dock Sea and Boat Launch Ramp project is working on completing the Dock Sea Marina construction by the first part of June and the Glorieta Bay Boat Launch Ramp by mid-June. Last week, the boat wash-off pad and ramp apron were poured. This week, the contractor paved Strand Way. City contractors should wrap up today, June 2nd. Four days of vegetation trimming they began on Tuesday, May 30th, along the Bayshore Bikeway. A crew of about six Urban Corps of San Diego members worked from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. on about a 1.2-mile stretch of bikeway from Fiddler's Cove to Tilagi Road. The bikeway was open during the work. The library's exhibit on the Mexican Village Restaurant closed this week. It was very popular with longtime residents and even sparked the interest and curiosity of new visitors. The next exhibit being installed is California Before the Gold Rush. This exhibit will focus on the period before statehood, the time of the Spanish missions and Mexican rancheros. The exhibit will be anchored by the Early California Book Collection donation by Catherine Bassett Barrios and her sister Anne Height. Honey is this week's pet of the week. This is Honey. Honey came to us as a stray. She's two years old and she's 16 pounds. Honey loves everybody, don't you? She loves everybody. She loves going for very mellow walks because she's a mellow dog, but she does love playing in the yard. And she is microchipped, she's spayed, and all her shots are current. The adoption fee for her is $125, and we hope that you'll come and see her soon. Right, Pumpkin? Yes, thank you. Say hello. 
To set up a visit with Honey, call Paws of Coronado at the Animal Care Facility at 619-522-7371. For more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the City Manager's Weekly Update online. A Memorial Day service was held on Monday, May 29th at Star Park. Here are some images of the annual event.